formal diagnosis overlaps into having a biopsy. Uh, again, uh, to just have an antibody or to self-treat because you think or have noticed that your symptoms get better if you withdraw gluten, uh, it doesn't help you in the long term because you don't actually know what's wrong with you. We know that celiac disease is very common and that it affects probably about 1% of the population, but we are now seeing patients or other people emerging who actually describe symptoms responding to a gluten-free diet who do not have celiac disease, so-called term non-celiac gluten sensitivity. This is an area of research, it's an area of great public interest and certainly now the scientific community is also looking into this very carefully. So once again, I think this demonstrates that we have to try and very clearly, objectively and scientifically demonstrate diagnoses.